YouTube, it's me, Bergie, and I'm here with a new video. Now, before I get into it, yes, I did dye my hair. I kind of needed it. I needed some brightness <laughs> to get me through my exam period. And I'm almost done. I have one more exam that's tomorrow, so I've been studying all day, hence the lack of makeup or good hair or anything, really. <laughs> But yeah, so one exam left, and then I'm hoping I'll be able to post videos more frequently. To get better at doing that, I decided to take part in the top five Wednesdays kind of group that is on Goodreads, and I'll link that down below. So yeah, that is what I plan on doing today. Now, today's topic is top five summer reads. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, in the summer, I usually like to read easy books that are not very complex because I just spent a whole semester studying and reading complex books for, for uni, and I really just need to de-stress and relax and not think too much. So for me, that usually means I read crappy, <laughs> guilty pleasure books is how I usually call them, or I reread books that I've read before. So those are kind of the main themes for the books that I'll be talking about in this video. So without further ado, let's get into my top five favorite books to read during the summer. The first one is the Click series by Lisey Harrison. These are middle grade books. On Goodreads, they're considered young adult, but I think that the writing style is more aimed towards middle grade children rather than young adults so because of that it is quite easy to read the books are quite short even though there are at least like 15 of them in the series they are all really short. I don't think they're um, more than 200 pages. I started reading these the summer of, I want to say, like 8th grade or ninth grade. So it was when I was really young. And because of that, it also has that kind of summer connection for me. But anyway, the plot of the series, it's kind of Mean Girl-esque where we follow a group of girls who who face different types of drama and cattiness in middle school and then later high school. So yeah, this is definitely a guilty pleasure read for me that just lets me relax and not have to think about complex fantasy plot lines or anything like that. It's just a simple, crappy, catty plot. The second book I want to talk about is A Kiss in Time by Alex Flynn. This is an Aurora slash Sleeping Beauty retelling in modern time and because of that it might be fantastical but it also is very simple and it's a storyline that I'm pretty sure most people know about so you don't have to really think about the little intricate details that make it different from other retellings. As well, this is a cute romance book but isn't too cringe-worthy. So I, I like reading those kinds of books for summer as well as I'm sure most people are. They kind of like romance more for the spring and summer months when everything is happy and cheery. So yeah, that's what I do. This is again an easy to read book even though it is a, lo a bit longer than and it's a young adult fantasy. The third book that I want to talk about yet again fits in the kind of chick lit, more guilty pleasure read book list for me and it is Beauty Queens by Libra Bray. This is again a retelling but in this instance it mirrors Lord of the Flies by William Golding rather than an actual fairy tale kind of thing. So because of that and because of the fact that I am very familiar with Lord of the Flies, you don't really have to follow it as in-depth that you would with a different book, if you know what I mean. And as well, it's very humorous, even though it is dark humor, it is very funny, and it is, again, very easy to read. You can see a theme. I like easy to read books in, in the summertime. And on Goodreads, it's classified as a young adult contemporary, but I don't know if that necessarily fits it. I don't know what to categorize it if it's not contemporary, but yeah, that's just what it says. Now, the fourth book is kind of a cheat for me because it is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. And honestly, I could reread the Harry Potter series any time of the year, and I have done that before. But for me, during the summer, I love reading the Sorcerer's Stone because when I first read Harry Potter, I started in the summer after my fifth grade year, and because of that, I kind of have a nostalgic connection with reading the Sorcerer's Stone in the summer. And once more, it's a story that I already know, so I don't really have to think too much about the plot. And despite that, it's, it is still fun, and you can't can find little new things that you might not have caught before so it does keep it interesting. The final series that I want to talk about is I think my number one series to read specifically in the summer and that is the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series by Anne Brashers. One of the reasons why I love this is because it does take place in summer so like 
when I read it, I do feel like I'm sharing the same experiences as the characters in the books. And as well, friendship is just like a very good thing to read during the summer because you might not necessarily be hanging around with your friends as much as you would in school because you'd see them every day but you can still have that kind of connection to friendship when you read these books. And again, this is a young adult chick flick, uh, chick flick, no, chicklet um, novel, so again, that kind of fits the guilty pleasure read for me. If you don't know what this series is about, it's about four girls who, for the first time, are kind of going their separate ways for the summer, but they want to make sure that their friendship still lasts, even though they're apart. And to help th them get through it, they, ha they found this magic pair of pants that somehow fits all four of their different body shapes and so they send it to each other throughout the summer with notes and little drawings on the pair of pants and it's just a really nice heartwarming bright sunny kind of book which is perfect for summer so yeah those are my top five favorite summer reads and i would love to know what your guys's favorite summer books are and I would love to check them out, so please let me know what they are in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!